Good morning. It is day nine. We're in our tents having our lovely breakfast. You can see Gabrielle slightly. Hey, G. Hello. <laughs> She's whisking her cold soaked coffee. I'm having my nitro brew right here. Tastes good as ever. And then after I'm done with that, I am going to cold soak my oatmeal. This is my tasty oatmeal I've carried for eight days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you gotta carry something for breakfast every day. But I had this extra when we got back, or during when our resupply in Joseph. I'm gonna have that along with my. I never had this one. What is this? Uh, peanut butter banana with dark chocolate cliff bar. That should be pretty good, I'm thinking. I've never had that before. So that's what I'm doing. And I am uh, charging my phone with this morning while I am using the phone. So, how'd you sleep last night, G? I slept pretty good. Yeah. It took me a little while to fall asleep. Mm. I was listening to every little sound. There's a lot of sounds and here. I kept thinking that something was crossing the river, even though it's just a river flowing. Oh, there's like another, another sound in the river. I noticed that this morning. I thought that's kind of weird. I wonder if. Like somebody's fishing or something like that. Because there's like a net, there's the main sound and then there's like yeah. another pattern. Yeah. And then when I went out to go to the bathroom, it just felt like spooky. Spooky! <laughs> I, I didn't go very far and I quickly came back. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. But other than that, I slept like a rock. Good. Good. Although I, my hips were really sore going to bed. Oh. So it took a while to find the position where they didn't start, like, felt like they were tightening. Mm, yeah. I hate that. Yeah. I know. So, oh, five, I think it was about 5 a.m. It was just, it was dark, but it was just kind of starting to lighten up. Um, our, our tents, our tents lit up with light, like white light. I'm like, what the heck, man? And then uh, it happened again. So... At first, I'm thinking, oh, shoot, man. It was like, is there light from, like, above, like, a helicopter or something? You know? oh <laughs> I'm freaking. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, Craig. You would have heard the sounds of the, of the helicopter. <laughs> like, okay. So there's somebody out there. And then I heard some foot. They're trying to get people out. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. You know what's going I'm like, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Uh, then I did hear some feet on, on the footbridge. So uh, somebody was either coming or leaving camp maybe they were leaving early uh, i don't know it's weird that they would shine the light on our tents like twice though it, usually when you do that they're looking for camp spots so i don't know when we leave we'll cross the footbridge we'll see if there's the camp set up just across the bridge they were in such disbelief that other people were here <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> all right so good morning for day eight we got a, a great hike today. Great. Day nine, hiking day. Oh, yeah, that's right. And there are like little clouds. It's like little morning clouds, and they're kind of lit up orange. It's really pretty outside. So, good morning. Okay, we're starting our hike. It's uh, 8 18. Nice. All time late record. No, we've left at nine. We have win. That was a uh, win in the meadow after our extra long. That was that day. late? Yeah, we didn't leave till wow. nine. Wow. Wow. All right, so this is Minim River, right? Yes. Yeah. Minum. All right. Minim, Minim. That's right. Minum. All right, so tell us, tell us, uh, do a quick re recap, or not a recap, a preview of the hike here. The hike uh, is five miles up uh, 20, around 2,600 feet mm -hmm. to Tombstone Lake. Wow. So, should be fun. How about the water situation? Uh, pretty much every couple miles, if not more. Uh-huh. Uh, we will be crossing Elk Creek. Okay, cool. So we're only carrying. I have like three quarters of a liter, which is that's what I have. The only reason I don't, I, I mean, I, we don't really need that much. But when you get less than a half, it's hard. It's hard to squeeze the water out of the bottle. <laughs> so. And it's just annoying to have to keep stopping. Here. Yeah. You, so and it's really not that much. So we probably have. A little under two pounds of water then. So I'd say our packs, my pack is probably around, I'd say 15 pounds. 
Because <laughs> the base, like yeah, because our, our base weight, it clearly is less than, okay, base weight, basically everything without food and water is below 10 pounds for sure. So we basically, <laughs> made, yeah, I don't mind this. So uh, food probably has got to be less than, what, may, maybe two pounds, because I still have bars. I got probably about yeah, six bars on me. A little bit more than two pounds. Two pounds. Including our trash. Yeah. Uh, our trash is pretty light. Anyways, I'm saying 15 pounds. Not much more than that. I'm so, okay. All right. Anyway, so hike on. It's a little overcast today. Oh, there's probably the campsites. Oh. Gee. Crap. I knew there's some good campsites around here, but I. Oh, yeah, there's people over there. Anyways. Next time. I wish we yeah. knew which direction that dude was going. Or whoever it was. Yeah, you're wondering about the guys who shine the light or lit up our tents. Because you know, when you shine a light on a tent, it just lights the whole thing up like a light bulb inside. Oh, you know, that's the big meadow over there. Oh, yeah. Anyways. Okay, I got. Yeah, so that. Let me zoom in here. So that's like, there's a corral there. And you can see at least one big, one massive tent. One massive tent. It almost looks like there's something. I don't see any there. stock. And I didn't hear horses cross the bridge. Yeah, I would have definitely heard that. Yeah, I think they got some food hanging yeah, in the tree. Hanging. Oh, you probably, you can't, I know you can't see it. Anyways. Yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. Uh, how, how much? 2,500? 2,600 feet. All right. Here we go. Yeah, so we're looking. Oh, but we got a hoof print right there. And and uh, it's going down, not up trail, toward our camp. But then we see footprints. Oh, you can tell there. But that are going uphill toward like us so we were talking that we haven't seen we've only seen horses once in the lake basin which is kind of surprising so maybe we'll well if they're going down then probably missed them so i'm wondering if these these boot prints which are really fresh are uh the guys that lit up our tent this morning maybe they're getting water or something like that so I saw the light coming from the other side of the river, it seemed like, too. So maybe they're on the other side getting water. And the light just blasted over to us. Don't know. But they have boots, not trail runners. You can just tell. So this trail is definitely used, though. It's really chewed up by horses and people. So it's... A, yeah, I haven't seen horse poop yet. But, yeah, probably one of the heavily he's worn trails, except for the lake basins we've seen. It still feels like we're in the cool of the day, even though it's like nine o'clock. So we got a fire report this morning. Uh, there is none that we can tell. We didn't see anything that looked remotely fire-like in the sky this morning, even though it was overcast. There can't smell anything. Uh, so, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see what we find when we get back to the car, or not the car, when we get cell reception, to see if there's actually fire there or not. So, that's good news. I think one of the things that uh, kind of reinforced our fear that it was a fire yesterday was yeah, for us trail maintenance. Wow. Yeah. One of the things that reinforced our concern. Oh, here we go. More fresh trail maintenance. That's fresh chips on the ground. Oh my goodness. You mm. smell it too. Wow, you can really smell it. Yeah. Uh, that reinforced our concern was we saw uh, there was a helicopter yeah. at least once. Yeah, we saw like right in that area. Uh, 
were like, hmm, that's weird, you know? And one of them was not your normal helicopter. It looked official. So that, that's probably what reinforced our concern. But it looks good. No problems there. And it was nice to see trail maintenance, gosh. We, we, kind of, we have been trying, or kind of, going in, uh, in and out, forested area and then a meadow area, but this is the, probably the biggest meadow we've seen so far up here. We've gone close to two miles. Back into the to the forest. It's nice and cool in the forest today. Hey, just kind of cruising along. A few switchbacks, a few straight ups, but we're moving along. Terrain has the terrain has not changed much. So nice and cool. The sun's definitely on us when we're in the in the sun. You know, the clouds pretty much dispersed. So we're gonna have a legitimate crossing here. This is this uh, stream's definitely on the map. We crossed the probably three other ones that we don't think are on the map. It's just typical type stuff. So I don't like doing logs, but I'll probably have to do it. Go ahead, G. Oh, I don't like really like logs anymore. My balance isn't what it, what it used to be. You zip up the phone first. Yeah, in the zip. Waterproof area. Yeah. G is really good at this. Hey, look at the spines on that. I mean, it's just gnarly. There she goes. Good for her. Way to go, G. Now it's my turn. This is really pretty, right? Barometer Good, barometer's going back up. So behind these trees, we saw the first, first glimpse of some really high peaks that are actually very close to us. Just right behind the trees, so. Maybe we'll break out here through this grass. The grass, well, the grass is fine. It, uh, if it's damp, which some of it is, it gets our shoes wet. And we really don't care for that. Great, get to walk up a, a stream. So here's our few first, more of a full view of what's up above us. Maybe we're going in that middle area, I don't know. But kind of heading into a bowl though, so yeah. Sorry, G. We're kind of in a bowl all the way all the way around this. So we're like in this canyon. Yeah. So maybe that is where we're going. Well, we just I'm about ten minutes or so. We we met a. Another human, which is really nice. Talked to this guy, he's hiking solo. He's done some of the same stuff we did. And, uh, and then I did last year, just crazy stuff. You know, no trail. So that was kind of a nice bonding experience. He lives in Corvallis. He's doing a 50 mile trek. And he's hiked to allow us clearly for at least 25 years. We, yeah, we asked him about that Stanley Spring that we wanted to go to in the Washburn Trail. He says, oh yeah, I did that, but I don't remember much. It was like 24 years ago. I'm like, whoa. Uh, he must be a, an have to be an Oregonian born and raised. Anyways, so we're coming up to a trail intersection. And of course, uh, one side goes to Catherine Creek, 
Seems like that's where all trails lead around here. And then we go the other way toward Tombstone. He camped at Tombstone last night and he said, you know, when, when you get there, go on the right side of the lake for you. And there's some great campsites there. So he's gonna have lunch or he wants to get to Sky Lake today, which is where we had lunch a couple days ago. It's that small, really nice lake. Uh, that was, was this really good lunch spot. Woo, got a waterfall. I'll show you that in a second. Check that out, huh? I don't know if we'll get a better shot or not. That's really nice. Woo. On the down trees here. All right, Tombstone Lake. We're going that way. Oh, Burger Pass. I was yeah. looking at that as a way to as a way to come in to avoid the the hellish non-trail situation that we were in yeah. today. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. All right, beautiful meadow here. So we kind of turned left going up in this, up here. Whew. I sure we'll get some pretty epic views. We just filled up on the stream. It's not this stream, it was a smaller one. And uh, so we're gonna rest this for a little bit. All right, we're back on the trail. We, a uh, couple people, uh, a couple who came in, probably from Catherine Creek, they, uh, they're in front of us which means they're gonna get the Primo campsite, not us. <laughs> but uh, there was a, a bow hunter, a young guy named Riley from Cor... Wait, no, where is he from? Uh, like Hillsboro. Hillsboro, yeah, he probably, <laughs> probably works for Intel, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's bow hunting, kind of scouting out, looking for elk. So we talked to him for at least 15 minutes because we were just kicking back and yeah. all that. I didn't know Rush. Yeah, he was a no rush either. He had a he had a paper map, so we took it out and you could, we could follow the whole thing where we've been on the map, it was kind of fun. So, nice to have, talk to another human being. And he said, he said it too, he was, he's here by himself, it's just nice to see another person and all that. So that was good. All right, so we have, what, a mile and a half, G? Yeah. That's it, but it's uh, pretty steep, uh, mile and a half. See what our we, we, she was. said we saw um, we got some like switchbacks switch here okay all right all right so we'll probably get a couple pretty epic views before we get to the lake too so I got well I think we got an elk print here give you an idea of the size of it so here's my hand so it's about the size you know my hand here yeah yeah, that's a, that's a good one. That's pretty fresh because people have been walking on this. Yeah. That's a smaller one. I mean, it's... Oh, cool. Yeah, we were talking to Riley. I said, we haven't, we haven't seen any, any elk or deer. Or last year, it was... Um, I didn't... I don't know if I saw... Yeah, I saw, I saw deer. Or excuse me, I saw elk. And I could tell there's a lot of elk activity. You could hear them too at night and all that. Yeah. So we're, so we gotta hike up out of this thing. To our left, I guess. But that's what we're looking at. I mean, those are pretty much, you know, above us. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Got a nice meadow right here too. Woo. Okay, we're taking some photos. Oh, we got a nice stream right here. Okay, let's take a selfie. Mm -hmm. There we go. No! One, no. two, three, two! Yeah, it's pretty intense, huh? A little bit low. She got a little bit of a... Those black clouds are weird. Oh yeah, mystery clouds again. Oh, we can't see the complete ultimate cliffs of insanity yet. Yeah. Pretty amazing, isn't it? 
So we made it to the lake, Tombstone Lake, at 11.40. Yeah, got some big old peaks. Woo. This is the lake's actually big and this wraps around to the right. Woo. Woo. Yeah, really. Really nice. Ready to go explore? Yep. Let's do it. Somehow I'm already hungry. I know. Must have been that the 800 foot final climb. There that was. <laughs> find him. Oh, there he is. What's he doing, okay? Hmm? So we saw him dig that up out of the ground just to the right. I'm not sure he trusts, whoops, sorry. He's not sure what the, who's going to move first. Who's going to make the first move? Okay, he's got a big thing in his mouth. Yeah, he, he dug got something up. Yeah. He's got the tail up. Is that the strike? <laughs> Either he's alert pose. Oh. Now we now he's turning aggressive. <laughs> nope, tail's up. Stop. He's gonna fart on us. There he goes. I'm out of here. Eat his bounty. He's gonna eat his bounty in hole? private. Big hole. Okay, so we're gonna check out this little hole right here, Doug. That is the secret hole. He knew something was in the ground there. How in the heck did he know that? Yeah, didn't Jordan tell us last year that it's squirrels, but yeah. they only find like, what, 20%? 20 or 80%, yeah. Of so, what they bury? Yeah. So you gotta bury a lot. <laughs> Squirrel with the best memory wins. We just did a little, little analysis of the wind and weather. And uh, we think that this is gonna be our our uh, tent site right here. We're gonna be pointing this way. I'll be on this side. Gabrielle will be over that. And we can open up our vestibules and we can like talk. I know, it's whatever, but it's a lot of fun, huh? <laughs> it totally is. The air is very chipper. So we're gonna get our jackets on, even though this, you know, that we got the sun. So, so this is not actually Tombstone Lake. This is right next to Tombstone Lake. And so if you want to see where that is, look on a map. <laughs> that, it's a no-name lake, right? So it look like. Uh, got in a camp, but it's cold, but the sun's kind of, the sun's kind of bright, so. I'm left-handed here. <laughs> this, uh, just, this is all I need for the nose. Huh? <laughs> And that did not come out of my nose, it's for my nose. <laughs> so, this is good. It's got some, I still can't figure out the smell. The scent would be more appropriate. Mm -hmm. Bear bait? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's pretty good. How do I look? Is it rubbed in? It looks like it. Cool. All right, so I am set and prepared. Yep, got that rock. That's a good one. Could have been detrimental to a good night's sleep. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Tough to deny that's my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the Lawa's foot question of the day. Which foot looks big and swollen compared to the other? Huh? Huh. 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 The answer is this foot got two bee stings. It got two? I think, yeah, this one got like one or something. Yeah, over, over, out. Oh, I hit my scab. Yeah, something's not, feels good to scratch the crud out of it. So I took, I took another, uh, another Benadryl on that. That just looks wrong. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely, 
Gotta watch out for those wasps or whatever those little buggers are. <sighs> Back to the regular programming. What? First things first? First. Mm -hmm. Gummies? Mm -hmm. Nice. Then what's on the menu? Hold on. Spammy beef stick. Oh, nice. Fritos. Oh, Fritos. Yep, I got Fritos too. Right, what else? I probably have a bar. I haven't decided which one, though. Oh, nice. Yep. So I have some Fritos. I got a bunch of Fritos. Oh, I'm having the light tuna. Mm. And yeah, I got a couple bars. I don't even know what kind of bars I put in there, but a couple bars I'm gonna have. Or maybe a, one bar, one bar. We're just looking at the clouds here. The clouds have kind of changed. They're like super wispy now. Like really, really neat looking shapes and stuff. Patterns. Hmm. Can't wait to go exploring today. Have a lunch. Got my Butterfinger. Uh, uh. Hmm. We're kind of chilling. Just checking out the views. Looking at the trail tomorrow. We can see the we can see a lot of the trail on the mountain. <clears throat> we'll show you that later. It's it's incredibly sketch looking trail. <laughs> I don't look that bad. It's pretty cut in. It's cut in, but if you fall and you keep going, you're gonna fall again. Probably I don't know, 100 feet, 200 feet, maybe. <laughs> Time to do laundry. Before we pollute the lake, let's get a nice picture. Someone already polluted the lake because if you can see through the water there, a nice line right, right there. Like somebody took the rice and just chucked it right where Gabriel's sitting. And then just uh, thinking the fish are going to eat it, but they don't. What will eat it is any other mammal on land. Just put it in a pile and it'll be gone in the morning if that's what you gotta do. Or bury it. Or bury it. That's asking a lot. That well, that's what I do though. So back to the Lake of Serenity. Bedded in my socks from yesterday. Yeah, I, I have all sorts of stuff. It's gonna be interesting. Wash. So we got our camp all set up, which you can't see right now, and we're gonna do a little exploration. We've had lunch, we've had a nap. We are ready to go. Oh. Woo! Our, our trail, by the way. I probably can't see that is goes right here. And somehow we think it's gonna go up there. It's just gonna go around here. Boom, boom, and it's gonna go up there and then it's gonna end up back at the river. Wow. We're just kinda walking around the river, looking at campsites and hanging out, chatting. Camper stuff. Ooh, just taking it all in. And try not to fall. Wow, it's not to bury it. Yeah, we just... I'm technically below it. That is weird. And it... Is this on the map? It looks bluer. It looks... It's the best lake of all. I don't really want to walk around this one. No, I don't think that'd be good. Woo! Thing. Yeah, it looks bluer. Man. It's like... That is so gorgeous. So this one, this is the lake we were just looking at everything here and there's like the there's the output and I really want to tear down that output that's like a foot the water would be gushing but we're not gonna do that but it almost looks man-made 
barrier right here. But I can't believe that they did. Nobody would do that though. That's I've never seen anything like that. Because the other lakes are below us right here. Oh, this one's kind of self-contained. Mm -hmm. It flows into it flows the again. other. Yeah. What's really strange is Gaia on their maps say this is just one big connected body of water. This That's says the, this is alone too on here. Huh, but like an older map. Yeah, the, the US clearly shows us. This one. Yeah. It correctly. It's weird. Gaia. Clearly inaccurate and thinks that this is all one giant lake here. Which the kids in a way. The, uh, it's really hard to, I, like, I can't, the depth perception, even, even by me looking at it, it, I know it just, it doesn't feel right. I, those rocks are like right there, super steep. All different colors and shapes. And, seems kind of otherworldly. Big meadow we walked through there on the edge because it was boggy. So we're gonna walk around the lake here. It's amazing. Roll. Roll. So there's like these little ponds right here. That would explain why all the stuff. Wow, that's a lot of frogs. Yeah. It's just like this. These frog ponds. That's crazy. They're all like slightly different elevations. There's another little one right there. Oh, right there. Wow. What we got there? It's a little, little pup ball. Nice. Dispersing its seeds. Spores. <laughs> So Gabriel and I have been seeing like these pine cones in the trees and they're like oozing with sap. So we have we just happen to find some that are really low to the ground right here. I noticed them because they were the ones up above because they were like sparkling. Let me just look at that. And you can see them like look at that. That's all sap. It looks like sugar or something and if you smell those it's like whoa really really delightfully strong pine smell so i actually grabbed two of these and because i think they're gonna be great fire starters but you know what i bet you're gonna smell really good in the house too isn't that amazing oh you just saw g through that she just ripped it right off let me get another one Right. So what we think we were thinking first to use this for like just to light it on fire because that's how you start right. fires in any weather. Twist. Yeah. But I was thinking, well wait, why don't you just set one in the dish and at home it just it's gonna naturally fill the whole room with a with a real pine scent. You could even hang it from your car <laughs> rear view mirror and you'll have a real pine scent thing. Of course, you don't want that to be you know, dripping sap all over your dashboard. That'll kind of defeat the purpose, yeah. You don't want to do that. Well, it is dinner time, our last dinner for the trip. And uh, I'm just, we got some of these onions that we picked natural. And I cut up some. Can you see that? It's hard to tell. Ah! There we go. Green pieces in there. Anyways, added that to these are my scrambled eggs. I don't know, scrambled eggs and something. Breakfast skillet is what it's called. Breakfast skillet is incredible. There's like hash browns, there's red peppers, and sausage. So, oh, that's what those little chunks of mystery meat are. <laughs> nice. And then we're going to have at least one candy bar each. I don't know what. Gabriel hasn't do decided. Are you going to do Butterfinger? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I've, I haven't even looked what I what my choices are yet. So, so the wind st stopped, and this is what we're looking at right now. 
pretty nice. Huh? I know we've I've taken like thousands of pictures of this probably. But man, the reflection, now you can see all the reflection all the way down. Oh my gosh, look at the reflection, it's like perfect. Wow. Let's get better. Oh my gosh. gosh. I had to put on my film camera with me. Oh. What a disappointment. Dang. This is mind boggling. Wow. All right, this is day eight, end of day eight wrap session. And uh turned out to be a pretty amazing day here. So we're going to start with our stats mm -hmm. right now. Okay, so I have 17,000 steps. I have 18,000 steps. <laughs> I, I get more steps at home than that. And I have uh, about 2,300 calories. I have 2,100. Dang, 2,100, yeah. Yeah, we can get 2,500 at home just by doing our normal stuff. But which was amazing because we climbed 2,500 feet today. Yeah. But we did it pretty fast. That's true, it's because the trail was nice. Yeah, the trail was, yeah. the trail was, was actually yeah, pretty good. We only good. did five miles of hiking. And then we did walk around the lake. We did, yeah, we just always did some exploration. And, uh, but the air is, you know, it's cold. Oh, we got like, yeah, we got, got layers. We have, have every layer. We have oh, frog talk. We got leggings on underneath. You know, we, we got it all here. I got my, this is the first time I've worn my down jacket, not sleeping. Buff. How's that look? That's great, Dad. Bro. Anyways. Yeah, so it's pretty, it's going to be a cold night. I should probably put the filter. I don't think it's dry below freezing, but I, I wonder if I should put the filter in the, in there just in case. Maybe I'll just put my bottle <clears throat> in my tent. It'll Maybe, be a little bit that'll be good. warmer than yeah. outside my tent. Yeah, yeah. Because it, the air is, air is really cold. Yeah. We knew that as soon as we, actually the whole day. The whole day the air is We woke cold. up, it was pretty cool. We got to the lake, we're like, oh, it's kind of chilly. Yeah. But when you're in the sun, you're just cooking. Yeah. Anyway, so that's our stats. Well, mm -hmm. That was um, the highlights of the day. We met the bow hunter, the young bow cool. hunter. That was awesome. It was in Hillsboro. Uh, that was super cool. Uh, was it Riley? I think it was Riley. Riley, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, good guy. Um, it was a lot of fun talking. Yeah, to him. it was. Well, it was just nice to see people too after not seeing anybody yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He kind of he's only been out for one night, but but he said, "Oh, it's nice to talk to somebody." So he yeah. was he was out there by himself on the ridge. Yeah. Uh, the night before and. So he was, you could tell he was a little lonely. <laughs> it was yeah. kind of fun. And he had a big paper map, which was great. Yeah, it was kind of cool too. Yeah, it was cool. We need to get one of those. So, uh, oh, and we saw the real hiker on the trail. That was kind of nice. Yeah. We talked to him just swapping stuff. That's yeah. always really nice to do that. Especially um, when we actually knew the trails around. Yes, he knew the trails. It was really good. Yeah, he confirmed the uh, the lame trails that we'd been on and he'd been on them. Yeah. So he knew about that. <laughs> So, uh, let's see, what was the really cool thing? Um, we saw, I mean, as usual, we saw great views. Yeah. We, we started seeing part of the granite wall behind us. Yeah, that was we really cool up. looking. It was like Ooh, lines, Like, like the Cliffs of Insanity thing. It was just like shot yeah. straight up. That was pretty neat. That was cool. Yeah. Um, I feel like we saw an animal today. Oh, no. Be, oh, wait. Oh, we saw a bald eagle this morning. Oh, yeah. Gabrielle caught the bald eagle, and she has that on video. Yeah. So you probably saw yeah. that then, but I haven't seen a video because it's on her camera. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. It was uh, while we were eating breakfast this morning. Yeah, it was just sitting up there. Just sitting up there. I, I, I looked outside of my, my tent. I'm like, oh, yeah. It's huge. Yeah, it was pretty close. <laughs> it was, it was, yeah, it was close. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> yeah. So what else? What was the other highlight? Oh, like, something else. I mean, the lake's obviously nice. Yeah, lake was really good. I should just relax. You took a nap. Yeah, I, this is snoring, this so is the clearly. first day. Once we got here, well, I I don't know if I took a Benadryl because the my left ankle area on the outside is swollen, and it's kind of like puffy, swollen kind of thing. Um, it's above most of it's above my shoe line, so I don't. It doesn't hurt when, or like when I can feel it. Just kind of feels kind of itchy when I'm hawk, when I'm hiking. Yeah. Um, so I took a Benadryl, and I wonder if that puts you to sleep a little bit. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna 
start stop and start yeah so with that benadryl I, maybe i don't know if it puts you to sleep or not but man i was just i was so just tired i just was so chilled I'm like man i just want to take a nap mm -hmm. and, and i think I, maybe it wasn't the benadryl but since then i've just been like really relaxed and it's taken this many days that's how intense the the trip has been yeah. so that's not good. I've only had one other day, and that was mm -hmm. at Steamboat Lake, where yeah. I felt like I was like, ah. uh, yeah. But I literally felt the like, <sighs> it was like tangible, and that was a really good feeling. And when that happens, <sighs> I just crashed, take a nap. So I, so I made sure I didn't go over forty five minutes because when I got up, I was still just like, oh man, I'm just like so tired right now. <laughs> nice groggy feeling. I did. That's why I don't take naps very often because it's so hard to like get up. Well, you, just don't, you just want to lay there. You don't go more than 45 minutes. That's the I have a hard time doing that because it takes me like 20 minutes to fall asleep. Well, that's a need. That's something maybe you can work on. We can, <laughs> we can talk about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was unique. Yesterday I felt pretty relaxed too. That was really good. Uh, yeah, and one way I can tell is that when we're hiking, I can think about other stuff. I start thinking about all the machine learning stuff that I want to do and, you know, things like that. Just praying for people. Just, you know, I start doing other things other than, okay, what's the next water source? Is there a fire? Well, the mosquitoes are tough. You know, I, I, don't, I you don't have to think about that stuff. You, that's what's nice about the, the PCT. Yeah. I mean, well, besides the mosquitoes. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about, like, where's the trail? And it, is it going to be maintained? Because for the most yeah. part, it is. Yeah. So that was good. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? Is there a hard part of the day? It really wasn't a hard part no, of the day, no. was there? No. We yeah. started really late. It was different. We felt a little sluggish in the morning. I don't know if it's because we started late and we ate a full breakfast and then we started hiking. I don't know. It feels when you start early, for me, you know, you just have a kind of a bar, a half, part of a bar when you start going. And then you feel like super fast and light. It didn't feel like that. I mean, that's because we started going up 2,500 feet. Yeah, we just started going straight up. It's a little, because the past couple of days in the morning, we've just been like slowly going downhill. Oh, we've had such a good trip. So we're gonna do like a, a debrief thing, thing after we're, we're gonna we we definitely have some lessons learned on this trip. So on the drive home tomorrow, which is like seven sticking hours, seven and a half. Um, depending on traffic. Yeah, yeah, great. And road ops. Road road operations and crashes or whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll kind of we'll do a, we'll do a debrief because we definitely learned some things. Um, this trip was really good. They weren't really technical things. It was just about. Thank you, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So, um, anything else? Or is that going to be it for day? Day nine, hiking day eight. Oh, yeah. 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 This is day, hiking day eight. Yeah. What? No. Yes, because you had day one as yeah. when we were driving. So, tomorrow's going to be what day then? Technically, day 10, hiking day nine. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So, tomorrow... We have, we'll tell you details about that tomorrow, but we got to hike up out of this bowl, mm -hmm. which is how 18 or no, 800 feet. Yeah, it's, like, it's 800, but man, the trail looks, we're looking at trying to find it. It looks rocky. It looks going to be crazy. So we're going to wake up normal. We're going to try and have lunch at the top of the, of the pass. Or yeah, breakfast at the top. It's like, it's a pass basically. Yeah. So we want to have breakfast at the top of the pass. Yeah. Um, and then it's just like, from Still then on, down. it's like, how many thousand feet do we drop? That's so 2,800 feet. 2,800 feet down to the car. And the last couple miles, it's a very gentle drop. Yeah. That's that meadow. So Which means it has to be a more severe, severe drop, drop to get to the meadow. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. So anyway, so that's what we're doing. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's it for, for whatever day it is. And we'll see you tomorrow for the final day of the trip.